everyone, welcome to another edition of Craps Down Under. Hopefully in this session we get to our 10k target. So uh, the last session I introduced uh, using a lay bet uh, with a hard way and I played it on the 10 and basically yeah just played the, the hard 10 and the, and the hard way together and uh, we would also progress on uh, success. Uh, so we'd progress up a ladder, had three level ladder. So I don't see any reason why uh, we couldn't do the same thing again and get ourselves across the line. So let's do that. Um, so I've got my bank roll here. So what we will do is I will take this back, get some greens. 500 in greens. Nothing fits in there. I'll leave the thousand there. Uh, what else do we want to do? Get some reds. I'll get, I'll get uh, a couple of hundred in red, maybe, because we do use a few of those. And I'll get some whites because we need those as well. Let's do that. I need one more. Perfect. All right. So we're all set up. Um, maybe I will get some blacks. Let's do that too, because we do use those. Oops, there we go. All right, so take him back. So a thousand in blacks. So again, our bankroll was 1700. So I do need to fix up something. Um, last video, I did um, inadvertently steal $5 off, off uh, our winnings because I'd already paid for VIG and then I took, took it again because I was showing I can, I think it was the payout was like this, 105. I paid the VIG and then I said, well, what I, do, what I can do is I can just pay the 100 and I did it like that. So unfortunately, I ended up cheating myself five bucks. So I need to fix that one. Need that one there. That means we can color that up to a black. It's a hundred dollars there. So that can go on top there. So I'll fix that up. I've got two dollars left over. We'll just leave it there. And uh, what else do we want to do? All right. Um, I guess we'll just get started. Let's get cracking. Uh, we'll start at our um, seventy dollar level. So seventy dollar lay and ten on the hard ten. And um, one thing I didn't make clear, although I did put it in the comment, uh, you always have to have this one working. So you always have to have have that guy working uh, because by default your hard ways won't be working on the come out. And we're not really caring about the come out cycles or any of that. So you always have to make sure that the dealer's got your hard way working. So can't stress that enough because the worst thing you want is on the come out to get a hard 10 and you get your lay knocked off and if, you, if your hard way is not working, you'll, you'll curse. So here we go, let's, uh, let's get started. And I'm not going to track the point, um, I'm just going to roll this out. Profit target for this is again uh, 340 to 510, that's uh, 20 to 30 percent of our $1,700 bankroll. So anywhere from 340 to 510. Uh, six again. Eight. Five. Whoops. She's having a good roll. Five again. Six. Again, we would have done very well playing our five, six, eight on this roll. Would have done exceedingly well. Five. And there's a seven. All right, so we made, made a little profit here. So we lose there, pick up there, a dollar big. Put that one in a rack, put our hard way back up. Working. And get some new dice. 
and we're coming out. And a seven. Right. Don't mind it. Again, I don't need to go for all that. I'll just uh, leave my hard way up and pay, pay that big and rack the 25. So now we've had a couple. What we'll do, bring our action down. We'll press up to 140 and we'll go 20 on our hard ways. So 20 on the hard ways, on the hard 10. And, and whoops, got an extra one there. And 140 on our lay. All right. And set. So quite a nice run so far. So again, we lose the, lose the hard way. We get paid here. And we do have to drop uh, $2, $3 a VIG. Three bucks in VIG. So generally with this progression, now you don't have to you don't have to do it the way I've done. I've collected a couple of times on the first level. I've collected one time on this level. So, you know, I've, I've done okay uh, with this particular play. Um, we can step it up, but I generally like to sort of get a couple of wins on each level. Um, because if I do get knocked off, I kind of, I don't want to sort of progress up and not have one enough uh, to cover what I might get knocked off on at a higher level, if that makes sense. So I'll go a couple, but it does mean that we potentially reduce our profitability with all these lovely sevens we're getting. Uh, there's a yo. Uh, there's a nine. Uh, there's an eight, five, three, eight. Uh, five. So again, would have been done done okay on this. We have two hits there, three hits. That's why I have I did say in my last video we can play we could play this independently and still play our five, six, eight as a completely independent play. But I just thought I'll, I'll show this strategy again just to try and see you know it wasn't a freak event you know that it actually should be fairly reliable well i don't know how many uh, aces that that's in a row but that's that's quite a few and five by mid wow what a roll i think it's like three aces and midnight that's crazy rolling eight and the dice can do some freaky stuff sometimes nine Four. Uh, four again. Came hard that time. Oh, midnight again. Jeez, if you're playing the horn, you'd be uh, absolute. Wow. If you're playing, as I said, playing the horn, you'd be uh, doing handstands now. Nine. Five. Six, three, can't believe how many horn numbers we've had this roll. Another horn. Three, and there's a six, and there's our seven. So that was a very long roll and unbelievable number of horns. Uh, crazy roll. So again, we've got 140 uh, is going to get paid 70. So there's our our vig that we lost. We get paid the remainder there. So that's our 70 win. Uh, we do owe three dollars vig. All right. So I've had a couple of wins at that level. Um, now we can we can try and risk going up to the next level. Um, we've actually done pretty well um, so far. So let's, let's see where we are in the bankroll. Remember I did uh, have a thousand, thousand here, so that's all good. A uh, thousand there, so that's all back. That's all our original bankroll. 
pretty much, except for a few, a few of the whites we're missing, but that's okay. So 150 already. All right, so this is where we uh, we dig in and we go up a bit higher. This is our last last level of the progression, um, and we need to put a thirty dollar thirty dollar hard ten. I'll see how we go. Got a five one six. Five. Hard 10 doesn't affect us. That's why we put the hard 10 there. And there's our seven. So this play is supposed to be pretty reliable because we've got a, as I said in my last video, six combinations versus two. So three times as likely to win as lose. And uh, we're having a very good run. So we lose this and we get paid 105. That's what we make. We do owe uh, the VIG, so I'll take that back. That's basically how we get paid. All right, so we've done it once. I'll probably only do it once at that level unless I have a lot of, um, you know, if I've had some losses and collateral damage, um, I'll probably only play at this one level if I've but if I've had those losses, I may play at this high level a couple more times to try and recover uh, any runs of uh, losses that I've had. So let's see where we're at. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's a, not quite a hundred there, but. So as you can see, we're, we're doing okay. 225. Doing not too bad, so again, we'll start down at the lower level. Um, $70. And 10 on the hard ways, always working. I'll put this little lay on there. All right, get some new dice. Come on out. Nine. Now, I don't know if that was actually come out roll. I'm not tracking the point because it doesn't really matter to us. Eight. And there's another seven. So, lose the hard ways, pick it up here, pay dollar big. All right. And there's a 6410. So, that's where we've got. We've got blasted, so we lose $80, right? That's what we lose. You have to have some collateral damage. Can't all go our way. All right, so lay goes back on. Right, I'll take it out of here. $10 goes over here, and we're on. Back to back, <laughs> that's kind of amazing. So uh, that's a pretty bad, bad thing for us to get back to backs, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, all right, 40 there on the lay. Oh, sorry. And 10, 10 over here. So just note, we're making these losses at the lowest level. I'm not progressing up. Oh, seven. Bang. That was kind of bizarre. I was expecting the dice to flick all over the place, but they just landed straight on a seven there. Um, so we get, uh, again, I don't need to take this down every time. I'll just pay the 25, get a dollar in big. All right, so we broke, we've kind of broken that cycle of losses. Uh, do we want to step it up? Maybe I think we should. Uh, we'll go up to, The 140 level. Let's do that. Need three reds. And we need 40 40 dollar over here on our hard 10. So we're stepping it up to the next level. So 
three. Get him out of there. There's our seven. So again, uh, we basically hardway stays there. We get this and we owe three dollars in big. And a seven again. Three dollars in big. Because remember, we were, we're winning 70, we we're replacing a hard way. So the big's always three dollars. All right, so we've had a, a nice little run there. So let's, let's try and step it up to the next level. Thirty over here, so two ten, two ten on the lay. So lay's got to go here, and thirty on a hard ten. So stepping it up, three. I oh, say eight three. Oh, there's a hard ten. That's why we do the hard ten. Uh, that protects us. Nine, all right. I don't know why I said eight three. I went five three five three eight last time. Other roll. Uh, six two eight. Nine. And unfortunately, there it is. So, so that's a that's a nasty loss for us because that's at a higher level. So unfortunately, uh, that's that's how we got hurt, and that's going to happen. So what I'll do, I'll stick at this level, uh, stick at the same level. Now, yes, we can get done by back-to-back -back losses, but I don't really want to drop down to the lower level at this stage. If I can get another couple of wins, another sevens, then great. Um, we have seen a few six, four, tens. We've seen a little cluster, I guess. And there's a seven. So we've seen the drill with this one. Uh, we basically uh, get our lay, lose our lay. Um, but if we pay it out like this, that's kind of what we get paid, the 105. So if I just put that back over there, we know that we always get paid 75. And uh, we owe, we've paid our VIG. Right, we've paid our five dollars a big, so we basically just net. We net that. That goes back. Sorry, I haven't paid my big. I do need to pay that because I've taken it over there. So my apologies. I need, do need to pay the five dollar big because I've got to place the five bucks on that lay. All right. Oh, sorry, on that hard ten. All right. So if I've confused you there, I apologise. But the pay it's always one oh five. We lose the lay. We owe five dollar big. Basically, it is. I was just trying to do it a little bit cleaner. But, so, and there's another seven. So again, um, get paid seventy-five. I pay some big. Um, what I might do: take one of these blacks, put that back, and I'll take another one. Put another black back in my rack. Because I want to make sure I've still got my 1000 and I've got the two on the felt. All right. So this will be my last one at this level that I'm shooting for to try and recover that that because uh, we did get knocked off at the highest level so I'm trying to get um, uh, <laughs> didn't quite get there we got a we got knocked beaten down again so again another loss so you're seeing you're seeing all this strategy warts and all we're one one step away from recovering but that uh, 6410 managed to get us again so we're almost back back there so we'll go back up on our lay 
$30 on the hard ways. Six. Nine. So I'm just remembering we kind of need uh, four hits at this level to really get ourselves back. Keeping track, there's our seven. So remember, we're going to get we're going to get paid seventy-five. I know five dollar big. So now I just need three. But remember, I, I still need one hit from my previous knockoff, and I still need another three from. Um, Sorry, from the knockoff before the one we just got knocked off, I had one hit, and now I just need three more hits to get there. Now you don't have, to, oh, <laughs> wow. See, this is where we're getting a, 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 a quite a run of six four tenths. So now, do I don't need three, I need six hits at this level to recover. So we are starting to dig a hole right now because we've had a nasty little run and it is going to happen. There's, there's no doubt about it. It will happen. All right, let's go back on it. Um, four, two, six. But you don't always see the six, four, ten. There's a break even for us. It's a wash. You don't always see that uh, six, four, ten beating the seven but you will see runs where it will beat the seven. If I stick with this, I still think we'll get there in the end. Eight. Yo. Eight, I'm hard. Uh, midnight. Nine. Midnight again. Hard ten again. That's a wash. Nine. Quite a run. I don't know where the sevens disappeared to. Um, three. Four. Right. It's an exceptional run. There's our seven. Finally, we get one. So we get paid 75. We owe some big. All right. So another thing you can do, because we actually have had a run of losses, is you can go another level. So we've gone up to 210. Uh, we can actually go up to 280 right we can actually press it up another another amount so why don't we try that that allows us to recover a little bit quicker but if we get blasted then we'll you know we won't be happy about that um, so we've got basically four times 70 so we're going to need uh, 40 dollars on on here All right, so pressing it up a little bit. We're hoping to just get a run of some runs of sevens. Four came hard. Six. Six. Nine. Six, eight, six. Still an amazing run. It's uh, getting uh, lots and lots and lots of numbers, which uh, I don't normally see this. I normally see lots more sevens in my rolls. It's always funny when you do a, a lay strategy or dark side and you, you, where the hell did the sevens go? Uh, because they seem to come every time I play this. I seem to just get get be fighting sevens the whole time. Nine. 
hard four. And whack. So yeah, not our day. Not our day at all. So again, we lost again. And the seven's not really featuring much in our rolls. If you notice, my rolls have been getting longer and longer and more periods between sevens. And um, despite even surviving a few hard tens, we still weren't able to get another seven. So, so we've pressed it up pretty high. Uh, that was at 280. So the next level we can go to is 350. All right. So here I am. This is more, I guess you would say, by going up now, um, at this level, I'd be kind of, it's a negative progression. So it's not a positive progression anymore because I'm stepping it up on a loss. But I am trying to recover losses, but we're just literally not getting sevens. So I go three, uh, 350 there. Um, and it's a lay. And we'll go $50 over here. All right. So, oh, sorry, I've got to use the same dice. Nine. Three. Still can't get any sevens. I don't know where, where it's gone. Nine. Nine. If you've been watching my videos, you never see me roll this long. <laughs> you just never see this. Uh, who knows where that seven is? Just can't get it. Ah, finally we got one. There's the seven. All oh, right. So uh, we've got uh, 350. Uh, so that's going to pay 150 plus uh, 25 is 175. Um, so let me put that. That's what we've lost there. So I'll put that towards it. There's, there's, there's 175. So Again, put the 50 on there, we're working, and we're trying to recover some of our losses that we desperately need to recover, because we have escalated our betting, but um, we've also had some exceptionally long rolls without a 7. And there's a 7, so again, um, we lose this, we get paid. 175. Ah, now I neglected to pay my VIG on my last hand, I believe. So we do need to, to factor in the VIG. So it's $5 plus three. So it's $8. So because it's $8, I owe $16 of VIG. I'm going to pay for this time and my last time. So I did neglect the VIG on the last one. So I apologize for that. All right. So, I still think we need to uh, we need to uh, keep it going because we just haven't had enough sevens. We've had very few sevens and a lot of six four tens. Had a run of them. Uh, the balance is not three to three to one on the six four tens in our recent rolls because of all the times we've lost, we just haven't seen that many sevens. So well, interesting to see if uh, the math holds in our favour. But I wouldn't say this is a cold table by any stretch. It's uh, a very very warm table because of the, just the length of the rolls. Wow, getting nines, getting everything. It just keeps going, this, these rolls. Six. Man. I can barely get, get, get these rolls when I play light side. <laughs> Four. Man. There's our seven. Uh, they've been hiding away for a while. So again, another 175, 
and we owe eight dollars in big. Um, ch -ch -ch. Should have uh, should have paid it out of there. Just to be clear, one seventy five. And that goes back there. All right, so um, let's see where we're at. Four. Have we got enough back? Let's get a few of these back. All right, let's put that there. Let me put all this here. Just want to see where we're at. It's always good to um, really keep track of where your bankroll is at any time any point so five that's a so that's a thousand so remember we were 500 here if that's a um, not quite a thousand but it is a thousand when we factor in all these so we are down um, oh not quite not quite not quite there so I'll do I want to color those up uh, yeah, look, I'll color those, color those two up. Right, so no, no, so I've got 1400 in my rack, and so we're down, still down a few hundred dollars. So the question is, do I want to keep playing at that higher level? Well, not really. Um, we have recovered a substantial amount of our loss. Um, just because you can't keep rolling sixes and four, six, four tens. You just can't keep rolling them and beating the seven for a long, long period of time. Um, you can certainly throw a bunch of them, which we have done. Uh, so let's just bring it down a level. Bring it down to the 140 level. All right, so I'm gonna put 140 on our lay. And when we're playing at 140, we need to pass 20 in on our um, on our hard 10. So put five in the rack. Over we go. We're always on. Let's see if we can manage to get a few more sevens because I ain't seen as many sevens as I'm expecting to see. Eight. There you go. Nine. Five. Five. Whoops, that was a five. Four, one, five. If we can find the one. Yo. There we go, whacked again. So yeah, this is obviously uh, vying for the position of a seven. Uh, despite it only having uh, two combinations, it's literally smashing us. So it's quite an abnormal roll to be losing this, this many times to it, is my view. It's quite abnormal. But we'll stay at this same level. Um, and let me just get a bunch of reds because we do need to replenish our reds. So I'll get a rack of reds there. All right, so there we go. There's a row of reds. And uh, now I've got 140 and 20 over here. And we're on. All right, six to eight. Eight, five, three, eight. Yo. So if you see my rolls, I never get this. I literally never get these kind of rolls. They just keep going and there's no seven. Now, finally we got a seven, but this is extremely abnormal. 
for the rolling I don't normally do to just not see sevens for a very long time. So 140 um, again, basically get paid that. We owe three in big. So I'll get back two change. I'll wrap that up. Oops, drop that dice. It's all right. Another six two eight. And there's a seven. So again, uh, not quite enough to hand that and get back to two. Oops. All right, so do we step it up? I think we kind of have to. Have to kind of go up to the to the next level. Given uh, given how many how many we've actually seen, how many of these uh, <laughs> six four tens versus the sevens, it's uh, it's been quite a mate quite quite amazing to not see the sevens. There's the hard ten. Again, it's a wash. Nine. Eight. Uh, six. Hard four. Midnight. Seven. All right, so we stepped it up. Uh, we lose that. So we'll basically. There's a 105. We owe a big. And that back. Get him back up. We'll rack. Rack that. All right. Uh, seven. All right. So same thing. Lose this. But we get paid 105. So pay the big. Put this guy back up. And another seven. So I can't complain about the back to back sevens. This has been going, it's making up for it, I guess. 105, pay our big. Back over here. So let's just see where we're at again. Because I think we are down still a fair way. Still down a fair way, but all right. So two blacks there. So there's our two grand. Sorry, <laughs> not two grand. Our one thousand. Sorry, two five hundreds is one thousand, not two grand. Uh, right. So thousand, fifteen hundred plus. Um, what else? Not quite there. We're, we're I would guesstimate we're down about 80, 80 bucks, something like that. So let's um, let's go to the one forty level. Let's drop it, drop it back. One forty, twenty dollar hard ten. Always working. Oh, stay there on the lay. All right. Fit there. All right, and six four ten came out hard. Came out, sorry, I shouldn't say hard. Came out soft, but literally whack. There you go. Not going to keep winning me. So we lose that again. So we're going. You know, it's like a couple steps forward, one step backwards. So all right. Um, 
let's just let's just um, play at the seventy dollar level. Let's be conservative because we did get ourselves in a bit of a hole by being aggressive and going up rather than staying flat, uh, trying to recover. So I'm going to see if we uh, if we can get something here at the lower level before I start stepping up our level. Because if we get a run of those 6'4 10s again, I don't want to be getting them at an increasingly higher and higher level because that's what dug us into the hole. By not staying disciplined to the strategy, by trying to get up a little bit too quick, uh, we actually caught a run of them. Now there's a hard 10, doesn't affect us. Eight. So that was definitely my, my fault. Now there's six. It's definitely my fault by being a little bit too aggressive trying to recover. Uh, but at some point you have to kind of level up. Uh, so this way we get paid. Well, we don't need to do it all over again. The net result is we, we get a green and we provide a, a dollar for the VIG. All right, so let's see if uh, we can get another one of those at that level. And then we might step it up. But, um, if we keep getting those long, long, long rolls that we were having, there's a hard 10. And that's not what we want to see. Nine. Five. So all we're really looking for with this strategy is just, a, 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 I guess, a run of sevens. Just looking for some short rolls where you get some sevens. Don't even have to be short, but often when they're shorter, it's better because <laughs> it means you, the density of the sevens is a lot higher. Um, where if you're not getting, if the density of the sevens is being, you know, a lot of rolls in a seven and a lot of rolls and then a seven, uh, that's not. You haven't got a density, a high density of sevens. You've got, you know, almost everything but the seven. And that's where we were getting knocked off. So now we could use some more situational awareness, and I haven't done that in this, this strategy so far. I'm just playing it like a robot most of the time. And that's probably never a good thing for a strategy. Um, probably reading the table, looking at, well, geez, this is a long hand. Uh, potentially, you know, if it's going longer, reduce our bet down. Uh, those are the sorts of things we should probably be doing. Um, but, yeah, these are all things we can do as we progress along on the videos. Five. Three. Uh, yo. Seven. All right, so we've got, again, it's another little one. It's not a big earner. Uh, 25 is the net result. Hard way stays up. All right, so do we want to, I think we'll say that that, that run of 6.4.10s may, may have uh, evaporated. Maybe we can step up our bet to the next level. I'll put 20 on the hard 10. See if we can uh, bring something home here. A few small sevens. No, no sevens yet. Oh, there's a seven. All right. So, basically, we win that. And we have to hand back Three dollars in big, so I'll get two in change. All right, so I'll take that one. I've got an eight. Got a yo. Got a hard four. Back to back, hard four. And we'll go seven. All right. 
And we've got three in big. Because remember, it's getting paid 70, not 50. But we're replacing, always replacing our hard way. All right, so we've stepped it up. Um, we've got a little bit back there. Let's see where we're at now. Let's just... Mm. All right. So, you get... Get a black there. So let's see where we've got, where we're up to. I'm not colouring up, I'm doing a stock take. So, I've got 1500, 1500, 1600, and a little bit. So we're not back to even yet. So, had a pretty, pretty horrible run, but, um, Yes, that's what happens. So we've had a few at this um, this lower level. We'll try it at this level. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, we get another seven before a six four ten. Oh, I was going to go. Wow, there's a six. I don't want it to be a four. All right. Here we go. There's a four. Uh, yo. There's a five, six, five, one, six, I should say. Uh, a yo. A lot of yo's, a lot of yo's. And... Uh, there's a eight. Nine. Three. There. Oh no. Oh no. So every time we get up to this higher level, we get blasted. So it's kind of not working for us. The timing of those 6 4 10s is impeccable. And uh, so we're, we're again back another $240 that we've got to make up. So um, hand that and get some reds because we need that. All right, so let's go back to our base level. Um, Seventy dollar level. Ten over here. Let's see what we get. Leo. Got an eight. And look at that. That's, that's a, not a bad outcome to get so many six, four, tens versus a seven. And we're getting a bunch of them. Um, whoops. I'm gonna pick those up. So it just shows you, even when you got the three to one advantage, um, three to one <laughs> doesn't always mean a lot. Uh, these things can punch above their weight. So I've had uh, two back to back before a seven. That's uh, pretty good. So let's uh, do it again at the low level. Uh, lay and on. Get, really getting ground down. Nine. In fact, this this has been a yeah. We've had a you know very long rolls. I think a lot of our sessions been a lot longer rolls than I typically seem to get. I think this is this is the same roll, same same roll keeps going. Oh, there's our seven. So we finally uh, broke that one. So we we only get paid twenty five and a dollar big. 
So let's let's go back up to the 210 level. I'll skip a level. Yeah, I know I'm I know I'm getting impa impatient, and there is a risk of doing this, of course. Because the idea behind leveling up is that you're kind of consolidating. Uh, so if you do get knocked off at the high level, you've already had enough wins to cover if you get knocked off. That is the kind of idea behind collecting a couple of wins at each level. But by jumping up like this, uh, potentially we end up with a larger loss if we don't get a seven. seven. And uh, these are all, this roll is incredibly long. It's, it's still going. Still going. uncanny when you want the seven <laughs> you won't show up just refusing to appear there's the seven all right so again get paid 75 take our big I need to put that back go back over No, hopefully we get a little run of sevens here. We'll be happy. There we are, seven. All right, game will lose that one. Pick up there, take that back. Come on. Yeah, we just can't beat it. <laughs> this is one of those sessions where we just can't beat that 6 4 10. He's uh, persisting to to beat us on this uh, against the 7. We're not actually getting the three hits. I, I don't think we're actually getting enough of the, the 7 showing versus you know, how frequently this is hitting uh, because, uh, yeah, we're just get, getting beaten all the time. So. Uh, what to do? Where are we at? Let's see where we're at because uh, 500 and see how much we've we've been blasted one two three four four hundred almost down we were we were up uh, Here we had we had about this much in our rack and we've literally been blasted four hundred dollars So the question is what do we do? Um, because we can go for larger, we can go for something like a 600 and try and go, okay, we'll go for one event. And um, we're gonna need to put 100 on the, um, 100 on our hard 10. And we're hoping to get a seven before another 6410. But that'll at least give us 300 back less the, the VIG and, well, it'll give us 200 back, uh, less $15 of VIG, so. <laughs> wow, all right, so clearly, clearly something's up with the dice, because it's, the 6410's beating the seven, and uh, all right, so let's put the rest on. I'll worry about what that is. I'm not even gonna worry about the hard 10. I'll just put it all on. This is my, uh, this is me fighting saying no, the math, the math is the math and it should prevail. But the seven is not prevailing in this session at all. Seven is, is, is the underdog, it's like just vanished. There we go, we've got something back, but clearly nowhere near enough to what we actually need. So we've put it all on the line here. See what we add. 
obviously no hard ways to worry about this time. up there and out there okay so for that we're going to get paid that and for one two three four five uh, we're going to get paid one there for those two one for those two 50 for those two so let's take all of our winning not 200 and sixty dollars so we're gonna owe one two per hundred and for the sixty we owe three so i'll take a third one and i will get back to change all right so let me now five Take all this back. And we're going to parlay, parlay it up. Parlay it up in an all or nothing play. In fact, we could put that on there on the top, cherry on the top. All right. We're using all our bankroll, but I figure we have to see more sevens as we are just not seeing them. All right, so five uh, at seven hundred. What do we say? Seven hundred and. 60, uh, 65, 66, that's the, that's the closest workable unit I can get to. Um, 766, so half of that uh, is uh, 333. So, so half of 700 is 350. Let me do that part first. 350 and half of that is 33. Right, so given I've got that, I owe 5, 10, 15, uh, 2 here, so it's 17, uh, $18 big. Here's 18 there, take that back. All right, so we got pretty desperate. That uh, 6410 four, six four is, is uh, showing more often than, the, than it should uh, versus the seven. So the ratio of 6410s to seven is not Really, I, I don't think it's close to where it needs to be or where it should be. We've just had a freaky roll. But it is interesting that um, it's often very difficult. So we're still down. We're still quite a long way down from uh, where we need to be profit-wise. So we're... You know, or even just to get back to our back roll, because we went to have 1700 and we've only got 1100 here. So we kind of, we do need to do, do something a little bit drastic. So we're not out of the woods yet. We'll stack it all up again. And we'll roll the dice. And we've got our seven. All right. So I'm trusting in the math. That's all I'm doing. I'm trusting that the math will work us out in on average 
um, because of the number, of, we've done a lot of rolls and we've just had the uh, 6410 featuring uh, so, so often. All right. Um, all right, so probably easier if I do it like this, pairs. All we have to do is get one of those. So if I just lay it out like that, and this is uh, not quite there, that's uh, 15, is half of that. All right, so there's a bit of uh, big to work out. One, two, three, four, five. So five fives are 25, plus uh, what do we got here? Uh, three, so 25 plus three, 28. So um, I'll pay 30, 30, get back two change. That's my big. All right, so what do we got? Um, sorry. So clearly we've got 1,500 there. And we're still not quite at even. We're still not at even. <laughs> and uh, I might stop with the, the big betting. Uh, but it's there's not what's the word it's still a valid play um, because the number of success events you need to recover is less by doing a larger bet um, did we stick with our playing levels no we're playing playing all or nothing plays but you know Sometimes when the dice are rolling against you consistently against you, which is what's kind of happened, uh, sometimes you just you need to capitalise on when you get a run of sevens. So we've kind of done that to get ourselves pretty much back. I think we can still play a couple of plays here at the 210, bring it back down to a lesser risk. If we get a couple at this level, then we'll be okay. If we don't, then we'll just say, okay, well, that's that's the way cookie crump. So here we have a back-to-back -back seven. So I should have done it all or nothing because now we'd be in clover. Uh, we'd, be, uh, we'd be laughing. But there wasn't really a necessity, pay the big back. Um, there wasn't really that necessity to, to be that aggressive. Um, now I will need to actually I'll get those as reds take that back get those as reds all right over here on so we get another we get another seven because we seem to have had a nice little run of sevens a pocket of them rather, rather than um, Lots and lots of rolls with six fours, six fours. But maybe that's all we're going to get. Five, one, six. Five, one, six. Oh, off the table. Six. Six. It's not looking good, is it? And there it goes. It's almost like as soon as you start getting longer rolls, you can be almost guaranteed you're going to get a 6 four, ten. So there we go. We lost that. Lost that one. So, all right, I am going to escalate and I'm going to put the lot on the line there not everything but most of it now nah, looks let's just put the lot let's just do the lot because I've had enough and I want to get out of here so uh, no hard way we're just going to roll for the seven rolling for the seven and that's all we care about you go 
there's our seven. So sometimes you have to be aggressive and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shy away from making the big bets when I have to. And you just sometimes have to do it. You can't you just can't sit back sometimes. And it's an all or nothing play, and I accept that. But that's why I've got these here. These aren't here for decoration. These are here so you can play aggressive when you have to in your session. And I want to be clear about it. Yes, these are aggressive plays. We got to a situation where the dice didn't go in our favour. We had to do some moves. We had to make the big calls. We had to put the big boy pants on and play the big bets. And we have to do that knowing that, yes, we might lose our session bankroll. But the whole point of these is to give us the ability to do that. When we have to step up, when we have to take that, that big chance. And the big chance mathematically is the best thing to do. Um, you read it, if you study math or you study gambling, the most optimal bet is one bet. Take your entire bankroll, make one bet. That is the optimal play. And it, it's actually, this time it's worked for us. It's not gonna work every time. But that's why I'm building these guys. These guys are here so I can play aggressive when I have to. So this is not me getting tilted. This is me deliberately deciding, look, we've had a run of losses. It didn't go our way. We have to make moves to recover. And if we don't, and we try and keep playing at the lower level, we're not gonna really be able to fight our way out with making small wins. Because what are you doing by doing that? You're asking to have so many more success events and so many more wins to go your way uh, in order to get back to even. And, and that's where you start to, you're starting to ask too much, right? You're actually better to ask less and go, look, I'll put more on the line and try and get, my, get a win, get a big win. Uh, and if I do get that, then fantastic, right? I've, I've got back and I played when I needed to play hard. I've played hard. Uh, and it's not always going to work. And then that's why you pick up one of these and you come back in and you try and build him back, right? And hopefully you can build him, build him back before you lose him. And the fact that we've been able to build this entire bankroll from $100 and we took the $100 that we initially started, our seed money, we've taken that out, plus 20% profit. So we took 120 out. So no matter what happens, we're still ahead of our initial investment. So I'm playing this deliberately. I'm building these bankrolls right there for this very reason, because stuff happens in a session that you won't believe. And I've just shown that the six, the six, four, ten can just we how many we had not that many hard tens, um, but we haven't had very many sevens. And that, that's, this is a lay strategy, it has to have sevens. So um, anyway, let's see what we get when we, uh, we'll probably have to color this up. Now I'll just even that up. No, we're not quite at 100. I thought we were. I think that's actually 95. I just wanna make it easier for me so I don't have to count it all that. So that's 95 there. Um, do I have five? No, I only got four. All right. So there's 95 there, so half of that is, is basically uh, 50, but not quite. Um, it's uh, going to be 45 plus three. Uh, let's just do it this way. 45 plus two. There we go. So that's that one. Pull that back in our rack. So that's the winnings for that one. I'll color him up to a black. Right, so half, this is what we have to get paid, right? That's what we have to get paid. So given this is all of our winnings, right, I'll put all this away. I'll stack it up to 
bracket over here. All right, so that's all our winnings. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And um, 40, not quite. Okay, 35. Uh, we need three there, so that's 38. So 38, big. I'll just take 35. 38 in big. There we go. So paid our big. Now, let's see where we're at. Okay, so, um, right, two grand. Fifteen hundred. Um, put that there. Take that one back. That's a hundred now. So seventeen hundred. That's our initial bank roll. This, this I'll um, join with that. Okay. So that's uh, sorry. If I colour that up, five. There we go. Boom. So 15. So 15 we can leave over there. So we've got 500. Uh, one of these. So given I've got five bank rolls, I'll just change that. Bang. And press all these up. All these bank rolls are now identical to what we have in our rack. All right, so we've got 1,500 in our rack, oh, sorry, 1,700 in our rack, and all of these bank rolls are 1,700, right? Every single one of them, 1,700. Right, plus, plus a little bit of spare change. Right, so we've done the job, and we bet big when we had to, we had to get aggressive, and I'm not gonna apologize for making the, the big play when I have to, uh, because you are always gonna find crazy runs of dice that just beat the math. And uh, that's just the variance of randomness. You'll get roll runs where you get crazy outcomes. And uh, we did get some adverse events in this session, no doubt about it. We had a disastrous run uh, where the 6-4-10 was showing we were getting very little sevens. We we're getting very, very long runs. Uh, massively good for light side. If And here's the thing. I was playing this just as a single play. But if I was actually playing that with, like, and, and I'm not doing it as a covered play. I want to be very clear about it. I'm not, this would never be a covered play. I'm playing that independently. And I'd be playing, say, something up here as two separate games. So if I do get knocked off here, and I'm getting those long rolls like we were seeing, then I'll be making some money here. But I'd still be playing this how I typically play it, you know, very conservative, you know, push it up, press up, a, uh, then take a hit, regress it down, um, and milk money out of the hand by, by playing a, playing sort of relatively conservative, but getting those two hits to get the, the real profit, and then probably build out from, from that, or just regress down to a minimal type iron cross or something like that and this one here is just playing completely independently and separate if i'd had done that this session um, i think we would have made an absolute killing because we just weren't getting very many sevens we were just not getting sevens um, we were just getting very long rolls and unfortunately that's what happens when you get long rolls and the seven's not hitting well guess what every other number's coming up and that's what happened we just uh, we had so many six four tens. I think we yeah we, we didn't get very many hard tens. We did get a few, but uh, probably not as many as we possibly should have versus the six four ten. But again, I didn't track it. So, oh, but I the one thing I noticed is yeah the sevens were very sparse, and uh, 
that's just going to happen from time to time. And if you watched all my videos, it almost never happens to me <laughs> where I get long rolls. In fact, the only times I've had long rolls is when I'm not actually playing. It's at the very end where I'm just throwing it out. And uh, we've already taken our profit off the table. I've culled up. And we go, let's, let's, let's see how it goes for giggles. And then it just keeps going. And that's the only time where I've had really, really, really long rolls. So uh, you've seen me throw long rolls uh, probably for the... For the first main time, you know, during mid-session, getting a, an amazingly long roll. Anyway, we got there, um, and it did require big moves to get there. So, um, would I still play the six four ten? Yeah, uh, the, the, sorry, the uh, the ten and the hard way. Yeah, I actually think it's still a, a very valid play. Um, but I think I did make some mistakes by escalating my betting. Uh, when I should have probably dropped down to the lower level. That kind of put us behind, and most of the wins we got then we were trying to recover from that. And if I hadn't escalated up and actually gone back down to just the base level bet, those six four tens that we, we had a, quite a few of um, would have only been happening at the lowest level and rather than getting increasingly higher because I went from basically being a positive progression to a negative progression play, which is negative progression is basically you're um, increasing your bet as you lose, as you lose, where a positive progression is you're increasing your bet as you win. So we did, I flipped it upside down and went into a negative progression where I was trying to recover, um, and then our losses got bigger and bigger. And because of that, um, then we had a bigger hole to dig out of, and the seven, when we got the runs and got some sevens, that was all spent recovering those losses, those bigger losses. If I'd have been dropped down, then I not only would have had less losses, uh, what I was actually making, I possibly would have been, you know, ahead a couple of hundred, maybe 300, maybe even $400. I may have actually easily got to my profit target if I hadn't escalated my bets up. So I think I did make a, a, a mistake in the way I tried to attack recovering my losses uh, I should have bidden my time and just relied upon the base you know the backbone of the strategy is don't escalate your bet on a loss and I did and I basically went against the strategy and that's what ended up digging that hole so when you dig a hole you got to fill it up and that filling it up um, is potentially that nice run where you would have been making the profit and that's kind of the analysis that I, when I reflect on what I did, um, that's what I can see. I don't dug a bigger hole, had to then, all my wins went into filling that hole up, and then guess what? We were almost not even quite fill, and then we got another loss. And so we went back down again. When I could have actually been, potentially, have had it filled a much smaller hole and got a mound of profit. <laughs> and then if I'd have got the loss then, then it would have just eroded some of the profit and I wouldn't have had a hole. Uh, and so, yeah, that was a mistake on my part. So, but I attacked, I attacked our bad luck. And I'm going to say it is bad luck because we just got a bad, bad run where we weren't able to get uh, enough wins to really recover our losses. And it got to that point where it was an all or nothing play. And sometimes you just got to, you got to have the gumption to just go ahead and get it done. And we did but also accepting that you're gonna lose. And I'm expecting I'm gonna lose one of these roles. I'm gonna have something like that happen, regardless of the strategy I play. And that's why I've got these. These are here for those session losses. And that's why I've got five, I've got five of these, right? Because I'm expecting I'm gonna get losses. So why would I build five session bank rolls if I'm not expecting to have session failures? That's why I'm building them. They're not there for a decoration. They're there to give me resilience, but also to be able to make bigger plays when I have to recover. And I've had to use that. You've seen me do this on a number of my videos where I will put a big lay bet on to recover. And it's not always going to work. I accept it. It's not always going to work. But that's why we have these. So um, I think it's going to work often enough, and we've got enough bank rolls that we should be able to continue to grow and milk our 20 to 30 percent profit when the dice roll in our favor for just that little bit of time 
That's all we're doing. You know, that we're going up and down. It's going like this, right? You bank, you know, through a session. You know, often it might veer off this way and then it'll slightly come back up, and you just then it goes back down, and you're just trying to crash into the into the profit wall before you crash into the <laughs> into the session loss wall, right? But as long as you're not trying to go too far, if you, you know, the further away, if this is the middle line, and you put your profit line over here, well, you know, you might be going like like this, and you never get you never get to that profit target. So you bring your profit target in to 20 to 30 percent, and most of the time, you know, the randomness, you're going to whack it, right? And then you whack it, you check out, you take your wins, and you're done. And, and that's all we're doing. You know, we know that the session's going to go go like this. It's going to go up and down and often goes crashing down and then comes up a little bit and then goes down again. And then, But, you know, at some point, if we, we get our target, and if we don't get to our target, guess what? We limit how long how long we, we go on here. You know, that's time, right? You know, that's, you know, 100 rolls, 200 rolls, 300 rolls, right? So give yourself the time limit. I think about an hour is about right. Uh, certainly an hour in my videos, um, it's actually probably two and a half, maybe even three hours at the table. So, you know, when you're seeing me roll with this, it's a lot slower at the table. So remember that, um, you know, the, an hour here is probably worth th uh, three at the table. So, uh, but set your limits, set your time limits, and then just say, well, that's all the table's going to give me. That's all it's going to give me after three hours or two hours. But set your limit to something, something um, reasonable. And uh, yeah, but I wasn't tilted at all in that. I just realised I had to make an all or nothing play, and that has to be done sometimes. So. Um, but if I was tilted, I would have been very, very, um, probably very flustered. And um, I actually felt at the point when I was laying these bigger bets, it, it's what I had to do. I had to put that in. And I, and I basically said, well, we've had enough of the six fours showing. I have to some point see a seven. And uh, I think that's, that's kind of what we saw happen. So anyway, um, it's gambling after all. This is this is gambling. <laughs> you have to make, you have to gamble, and uh, that's just what it is. So, um, you know, the math's interesting, but as we've seen, the math always doesn't doesn't always hold in a session. So, all right, uh, I don't really have anything more to say other than I appreciate everyone who's uh, subscribed and who's been watching the videos and giving your feedback and comments. It's great. And uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, continue to grow beyond our 10K. We've easily hit our 10K now. So uh, the, next, the next target is probably 15K. And um, then 20. And then maybe from there 30. Then 50. And so on. Uh, I'd love to be able to see if I can get this to 100K. Um, if I can. Yeah, be an interesting journey. So uh, thanks for watching.